Hey, Royals fans, NASCAR no, no, here with the NASCAR Cable World Truck Series 2016 recap. Sauter winning a truck championship. Trucks flipping, especially at Daytona. Tempers flaring on a short track and a road course. What more could you have asked for? And also I had the young guns like William Byron, for instance. But what a great truck season we had this year, folks. I mean, Johnny Sauter winning his first NASCAR championship, especially for GMS Racing. That's a very special moment for Sauter for the first time. A new season that he's now driving a Toyota. He wins a championship driving a Chevrolet. Sauter started out the season by winning the opener at Daytona. The next era, Energy Resources 250, and a fantastic finish that had Christopher Bell flipping right behind him as he edged out Ryan Truex, Martin Truex Jr.'s younger brother. Almost reminiscent of the Daytona 500 where somebody beat a Truex. So, <laughs> uh, that's uh, all you can ask for. And then Sauter had two straight races of bad luck. At Atlanta with an engine issue, and then finishing dead last in Martinsville after blowing a tire. But all in all, he continued the season with the new crew chief of Joe Shear Jr. They had a combination in 2003 when he drove the Xfinity Series and won at Richmond in a crazy battle with Kevin Harvick and Matt Kenseth. What a great season Johnny Sutter had, especially winning at Martinsville over Chase Elliott in the fall, which was part of the chase, and then winning at Texas one week later. That was pretty amazing for Sutter to give him more momentum going into Homestead. He didn't lead the championship the entire race. He only led in the final 17 laps after he passed my guy, Matt Crafton. And uh, he ended up winning his first title and uh, was very happy. And uh, I'm happy for Johnny Sauter too because he's one of the good guys around the garage because he's part of the Sauter family. And uh, they had a loss this year with their uh, his dad. So um, it's a little bit tough. Now, as for Matt Crafton, um, I mean, it wasn't exactly like the year he had last year, but he made it to the final four and had a shot at championship. And I want to see him... At Dover in the spring, he won. That was pretty amazing. He won the next weekend of the All-Star Weekend, the truck race. And that was run the same day the All-Star Race was run because of Mother Nature. Now, as for other people, like Timothy Peters, he made it to the Final Four, did win a race though this year. It's the first time it is, uh, for the first time in the past few years, Timothy Peters hasn't won a NASCAR Truck Series race. So, um, we're going to have to work on their program for next year. Christopher Bell started the season flipping at Daytona, then blowing a tire while leading with nine laps to go in Atlanta the next weekend. Then he pulls it off at Gateway with a victory and uh, was coached by Cobbler the entire truck race at Homestead, even though he did win the title. Still, great talent from Christopher Bell, especially when he's having Noah Gregson as a teammate next season. William Byron was the best truck driver of 2016. He won Rookie of the Year honors. He won more races than anybody else. But he did not advance to Homestead because he blew a motor at Phoenix, eliminating him from the championship hunt. But all in all, this kid is a great talent, and now he's moving on to Junior Motorsports for 2017 uh, with Elliot Sadler, Michael Annette, and um, Justin Allgaier. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what this kid can do in the Xfinity Series. John Hunter Nemechek, he had a good season, won two races at Atlanta, and in a controversial finish uh, at Most Sport Canada park th that race him and Cole Custer in the last lap beating side by side coming to the checkered flag name check barely edge Custer took them a few minutes to review John Hunter went over to get the checkered flag from NASCAR NASCAR won't give it to him because they had declared the winner and then all of a sudden out of nowhere comes Cole Custer tackling him because Custer had to win that race if he's gonna make the chase and Custer did not end up making the chase or winning race this year which is pretty disappointing I mean that was everybody's probably saying that was the best wrestling fight of 2016 in the truck series right wrong Gateway, Spencer Gallagher, John West Townley. It was like a UFC fight. They were like tackling each other and pounding each other to the ground. And got Townley was giving Gallagher's blows to the head. It's pretty amazing. And I was sitting on a bed watching that ring. And it was pretty, I was like, go Gallagher, kick the crap out of Townley. But uh, good fights. <laughs> because the truck series brings out the worst in you. It really does. Other drivers this season had good years. Ben Kennedy scored his first truck win. Brett Moffitt won in a Red Horse truck when it was mostly shared with Matt Tiff, but he had to sit out a couple races this year because of brain tumor. Also, Kennedy got released from Red Horse Racing at the beginning of the year after three races, and he ended up making the chase by winning at Bristol. Pretty awesome for him. And then we saw Suarez winning his first truck race in the race that Byron blew up and failed to make the Final Four for Homestead. And then we saw Daniel Hamrick. He made the chase. He didn't win a race. Tyler Reddick won a race, but unfortunately he wasn't part of the chase. That was at Vegas. And then we saw some good runs out of Gallagher, who should have won the Texas Fall Race. Cameron Haley, Rico A. Brew, Ben Rhodes, 
Townley, eh, he had a bad year. And then young star Jordan Anderson was able to uh, have some solid runs this year, which is uh, pretty amazing. All in all, I rate the truck season a 10 out of 10. We saw drivers lose their temper. We saw amazing finishes, big wrecks, flips, and drivers that were so emotional this season. It was uh, a season to never forget. And look what's forward to ne look what's coming next year. We've got Austin Sendrick replacing whatever truck that's was driven by either Reddick or Hemmer because they moved to the Xfinity series. I bet you the other driver is going to be Austin Terrio. Then we got Noah Gregson in the Xfinity series. We got Kaz Grala and Justin Haley. It's going to be an amazing X truck season next year, and I can't wait. So don't forget to subscribe button, put a good year goal like and see if you enjoyed it. And uh, I can't wait for the next era energy resources 250 Daytona in 2017. I hope you all are. I hope all of you are as well. And uh, have a good night.